Our next topic is types of fraction. There are many types of fraction. First one is like fraction, unlike fraction, unit fraction, proper fraction, improper fraction and the last one is mixed number. Okay, so we are going to begin with the definitions. Like fraction. Fraction with the same denominator are called like fractions. If we are going to talk about many fractions like 1 by 4, 2 by 4, 3 by 4 or 6 by 7, 4 by 7, 3 by 7. In this case you can see either we will take this one. If you are going to take this first plot, the denominator are same. All three one denominator is 4. Numerators are different. And in this second case also the denominators are same and this numerator is different. So when the denominators are same, then in that case the fraction is called like fraction. I will tell you with the example, these are the three pieces pizza. First one you have, you ate 1 by 4. Second you ate 2 by 4 and third one you ate 3 by 4. Okay, so this is the same because the division of the whole is into the same. This also four part, this also four part, this also four part. It means it is called like fraction. Like means ek jasa. All three are of same uh, size, same thing. So these three are called like fraction. Okay, 1 by 4, 2 by 4 and 3 by 4. Next one is called unlike fraction. Fractions with different denominators are called unlike fraction. For example, if one is 3 by 4, second one is 5 by 6, the third one is 3 by 8. You can see all three of them are different. They are not same. If I am taking another example, another example it is 5 by 7, 2 by 9 and 7 by 11. So you can see here also denominators are different, 7, 9, 11. With the picture also you can understand it. This is the small pizza, this is the medium pizza and this is the large pizza. Okay. In this one, I took three parts, so and total division is four, so fraction is three by four. In this one, total division is six. I took five parts, so it is five by six. And third one, for total division is eight, and I took three parts, so it is three by eight. You can see the size are also different. So unlike fractions are all fractions are different from each other, so that's why it is unlike. And in like fraction, all fractions shape are equal because the division of the part is. Uh, same. So that is ek jaisa hai, to you like hai. And if it is different, then it is unlike fraction. The third point is proper fraction. A fraction whose a fraction whose numerator is less than denominator is called proper fraction. And what is the condition for the proper fraction? Numerator is less than denominator. Means numerator is smaller than denominator. So we can say in general whatever fraction we are dealing that all are proper fraction because whenever we are going to take out always remember denominator will be more. If it is like this uh, for example I am taking 2 by 5 so it is 2 by 5 okay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 parts. So out of these 5 parts if I am taking 2 parts. So in general what if whenever we are talking about the fraction always remember in nature also only proper fraction exists. So 2 by 5, 6 by 8, 5 by 7, 3 by 4, these all are proper fraction. Numerator is always smaller than the denominator. Okay. Then the next is unit fraction. Fractions having 1 as numerator are called unit fraction. So whenever we are talking about the unit fraction, it is always a proper fraction. Why? If I will take this as unit fraction, it is 1 by 4. Okay, 1 by 4. So here also numerator is smaller than denominator. So we can say unit fraction is also a part of proper fraction. Okay, so in case of unit fraction, what is the condition applied? What is the difference between proper fraction and unit fraction? Proper fraction, numerator will be any number. 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, any number. But in case of unit fraction, always numerator will be 1. Okay. So that's why it is unit fraction. Denominator will any one, but numerator is always one. So proper fraction, numerator is less than denominator, and a unit fraction, numerator is always one. The fifth types of fraction is improper fraction. A, a fraction. 
fraction whose numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator is called an improper fraction. So, equal to and greater than. Na? So, we can say numerator is greater than. Okay. And when we will put one more line, it is called equal. So, this is, this both are together. If, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, if separately we will write, we will write numerator is greater than denominator or numerator is equal to denominator. Okay. But in short form, we are, when we have to write, we will write down numerator is greater than or equal to denominator. So, in one symbol only you can put all this, everything. Okay. So, but in uh, this example is 11 by 8, 7 by 5 and 5 by 3. But the problem is improper fraction does not exist in nature. Why? What is fraction? Fraction means the numerator upon denominator. What is denominator? Denominator means the number of part a whole is divided. For example, I am taking this 7 upon 5. I took this 5 part. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4 and one more is there. This is 5 part. Okay, out of this 5 part, if total number of part divided is 5, how you will take out the 7 part out of this? Because numerator is number of parts shaded or number of parts taken. So that's why I said to you that improper fraction is not exist. So what to do in this case? In this case, what we have to do, 7 upon 5 means, up, if we can write down it, 7 is equal to, uh, means if I will take this 2 part, if this is 1 part and one more 4, 5 part we will take. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Out of this, if I will take these two parts, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1, 2. Now we can write down 7 upon 5. When I will teach you the addition and subtraction of fraction, that time it will be clear to you. So that the main point is the improper fraction is not exist. Then what we have to do in this case? In this case, if it is 7 upon 5, we will change it, this 7 upon 5, into the proper fraction. How? Whatever the numerator, we, that is always a dividend. And whatever the denominator is always a divisor. So, we will divide 7 by 5. 5, 1, ja 5, minus, this is 2. Okay? So, now we can say, this 7 upon 5 is equal to 1 whole 2 upon 5. Now, you must be thinking, what is this? Now, this is called mixed number. Why mixed number? Because it is 1 whole 2 by 5. So, one is whole number and second one is fractional number. So, whole number and fractional number together is making. So, we are calling it mixed number. It is a combination of whole number and the uh, fractional number. So the next is mixed number. What is mixed number? A combination of a whole number and a proper fraction is called mixed number. Okay. So just now I explained you from where we are getting the mixed number. If it, any improper fraction is there, then for example, I am taking one example is 29 upon 7. Okay. So, as I told you, whatever the numerator, that is always a dividend. And whatever is deno uh, denominator, that is a divisor. So, 29 will be divided by 7. Okay. Then I will take the table of 7. 7, 4, 28. Okay. 7, 4, 28. This will be minus 29 minus 28 is 1. So, whatever number is the quotient, it is a whole number. I will keep little gap so that you cannot, you will not get confused. Okay. This 4 is a quotient and quotient is a whole number. Whatever is remainder that is a numerator. And whatever is divisor that is a denominator. You need not to mention it in the, uh, you need not to mention in the exam this whole number, numerator and denominator. It is to explain you I am writing all this thing. So from here what will be the whole number is 4. So I will write here 4. 
numerator is 1, so it will be 1, then denominator is 7. See, when we are writing this number, please keep in your mind this 4 whole 1 by 7. So this line is in between this 4 and 7. Why? Because if you will write it like this, in Haribari, so many times you people are writing, it will be like this. So the number will be read it, what you are going to read in the 41 upon 7. Or if you are going to write like this, uh, I cannot write so. So you can read it 1 upon 47. So the correct way is not like this, neither like this nor like this. Always keep in mind this line will be always in between 4, uh, this 4 in between we can draw the line so that it will be clearly visible this whole number will be separate then 1 and line will be here and then 1 by 7 clear to you please never like write like this or write like this okay the next topic is conversion of improper fraction into the mixed number okay so this is the exercise exam the question will come that if it is any improper fraction is given you have to convert into the mixed number okay what we will do again same thing make a rough column in your copy okay so this is the dividend i'm writing the short form of dividend and this is the divisor you need not to write in copy again i'm telling you it is just to explain you so dividend is 173 and divisor is 7 so, I am going to divide this 173 by 7. 7 twos are 14. Minus. 17 minus 14 is 3. And this 3 will come down. Seven fours are 28. 33 minus 28 is? 5. Okay. Now, whatever the quotient that is? whole number, whatever the remainder that is numerator and whatever is divisor that is dividend. Okay, so this is whole number, this is numerator and this is denominator. So what will be the answer here? 173 upon 7 is equal to 24. Then draw the line in between and then numerator is 5 and 7. Okay, this will be always Keep in the rough column so that your this portion will be neat and clean. No need to show the process at this place. Okay. The second question is 141 upon 9. 141 upon 9. Now please solve this question by your own in your copy. The next exercise is convert the following mixed number into the improper fraction. This is improper fraction. Okay. As I explained you earlier only that this is whole number. Okay. This is numerator and this is denominator. Clear? Okay? So there is a formula of this conversion improper to, sorry, mixed number to improper. And the formula is same as you are doing the checking of division. Okay. What it is? The whole number multiplied by denominator plus numerator upon denominator. Okay? The whole number multiplied by denominator plus numerator upon denominator. If you will remove this part, you can just recall the verification part of the division, checking of division. What was that? Dividend, sorry. Quotient multiply by the divisor, okay, and plus remainder. That was there, now. So, same thing is here. Quotient multiplied by divisor plus remainder. So, here the terms are changed. It is whole number multiplied by denominator plus numerator, okay. Now, we have to move for the, by putting the values of this number. So, W means whole number and whole number is 19 here. D stand for new, uh, denominator, so denominator is 8 here, plus N stand for numerator and numerator is 3 here, so this will be 8. Now you have two options, either you make a rough column and multiply it and add it 
और सेकेंड वन यू डू इट मेंटली चॉइस इज एब्सोल्युटली योर ओके आई विल टेल टीच यू दोथ द प्रोसेस दिस इज इन रफ कॉलम फर्स्ट वन I know the table of nineteen, and as I told you, please learn the table so that it will be faster. Means calculation will be faster than the other thing. So we know that nineteen eight cha one fifty two. Okay, plus three upon eight. Okay, now one fifty two plus three is one fifty five upon eight, and this is the answer. Okay. But if you are not learn, you are not knowing the table. What you have to do? You have to take nineteen multiplied by eight. Okay, eight nine ja seventy two. Carry seven. Eight one ja eight and seven fifteen. Okay, one fifty two. So this after that whatever the remainder, please add this. Sorry, not remainder numerator. Please add that. So three plus two is five. This is five. and this is one again i am saying if you are not comfortable in direct multiplication you have to make the rough column or otherwise if you have learned the table you can do it mentally also both the process i have explained you so do the second question by your own 13 whole 2 by 5 now it's time for the homework Homework is do all questions of exercise five B in your practice copy, which whichever copy you are using uh, to do the maths. I told in the beginning only that make one copy, old copy or any copy, and in that copy only you do all the exercises. Okay, so that copy only you complete this five B. 